That's my honest opinion to what you asked. I've also been kind of doing the uh, jack of all trades thing in Ultimate, where I'm like do coaching, Twitch, YouTube, and all this other stuff. Whereas in other games, it was literally all about tournaments only. But yeah, the sponsor detail is kind of a big detail. Yeah, if Miskit sponsored me, I would totally. If if Miskit or or Liquid sponsored me, I would totally do it. I don't know if they're doing that. I don't think they're doing that though. Exactly what you talked about, Emma. Tech chase side me, wrecking Pikachu at barely 70 something percent. You called it out. Yeah, I mean, in whole end, you have to worry about like whale will get the best. Well, no, I haven't reached out. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought Shiny Mark was going to ask me there. Was a compliment on the thunder? All right, not a chair. Shiny Mark got a couple more chances here on the stock. Yeah, so what happened, guys, is basically Echo Fox dissolved as a company, and then one month later, uh, COVID-19 hit. And uh, that was really bad timing, because I was actually talking to several sponsors who were going to pay me, like, a pretty good salary and perks. And then because of COVID-19, uh, it all fell apart. And then COVID lasted for two years, so I was already an inactive player by that point. I was already deep in Metify and streaming and all this other stuff by then. So, you know, I kind of got screwed by circumstances and bad luck. Because all, all that had to happen was Echo Fox not dissolving. And even if it did dissolve, I would have been sponsored by another team I was talking to. I was talking to like two or three that wanted me. And then just before, just before I signed, COVID-19 hit. And then all the sponsors went MIA that, that exact time, like at the exact same time. It was super bad luck, and that actually, the, those details actually set the course of me retiring. And not practicing the game for years, and not being a, a pro player. I basically had to stop because Echo Fox dissolved and COVID-19 hit. If these things didn't happen at the times that they happened, I would probably be active today. It's, it's just unfortunate. The thing is, I do have results for years and years, but I'm not about to uh, spend my life on a gamble. I'm not going to spend my life gambling when I can just not gamble. I could just stream and do coaching and have consistent income. Whereas if I compete and travel, the prize money is garbage. Even when I was active, getting top eights just smash just doesn't pay like that. It's not worth it unless all of my expenses are, are paid for. It's only worth it for someone like Spargo or Leo who's like, gonna rank super high regardless and even they only go to places because they're, they're flown even Sparrow didn't travel much when he didn't get flown smash just doesn't pay enough to justify the plane tickets but leo goes in and then he gets hit once and dies because kaze can kill you off one hit so all leo has to do is lose a single neutral and then he dies now if he was to do like i could literally just pick roy do retreating nares in place and do better just because even if my roy is a lot worse my approach to the matchup would be better. Anyway, maybe Leia will do better this game. But yeah, just to, just to tell you about this matchup, Goblin, the Roy player, wanted, wanted Kazuya banned. Goblin wanted Kazuya banned. Because of how bad he thinks Roy vs. Kazi is. Well, we'll see. Maybe Leo can make something happen this game. Didn't I train him? Yeah, uh, but I haven't helped him for like a year and a half at least. I helped him for like five years, but I stopped about a year and a half ago. Alright, let's see a real set. Let's go. I want to see a real set. I want to, I want this to be interesting. Let's make this interesting. Let's go. 
Now it's interesting. See now, see now, it's that's interesting. Now it's that's interesting. Now you've done more than take one stock in two games. You know, the funny thing is, you could still get zero death right now. Just spam electric until it hits. Or grab. Let's see, so electric. Sunday, thank you, M M Purdue. You too. The approach from Leo doesn't work out. It's caught by Riddles, and when he catches your approach, he throws your stock and gets rid of it. I feel like Roy gets zero to death like super easy. It's just, it's almost like he gets zero to death easier than other characters. Did you try to forward air me? How dare you come at me for Roy's forward air? How dare you come at me for Roy's forward air? You tried to use Roy's forward air? It'd be a shame if I released the shield of my six frame parry window and you killed you for it. Yes, yeah, his whole playstyle is to fight you, and Kaze just wants to destroy characters who try to fight him. In order to beat Kaze, you want to play like Sonic the Hedgehog and Steve. You want to get the lead, establish the lead, and make Kaze come to you. Characters like Sonic and Steve, and Mimin, who are, in my opinion, are the best two characters in the game, are the perfect counter to Kaze. Or Shulk, because Shulk not only does keep away, but Shulk can change colors during it. Leo tries to fight aggressively. And you saw what you saw how Leo died. Leo did nothing but Roy's landing forward air. Normally, if you parry that, you can get a punish because you know parry means a punish, but it doesn't mean a stock. He did Roy's landing fair in the second stock, and Kazuya just parried it into a guaranteed kill. All he did was lose neutral once, and his Joker refuses to like camp the way he should be. He doesn't camp the way he should be. 